The Denver Nuggets, I think, are title contenders this year. Straight up, okay? I don't know if that's just me trying to be nice or something, but straight up, I think the Denver Nuggets are one of, if not the best team in the NBA. If Michael Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray are fully healthy and are 90%, 80% of what we saw them last time when they were fully healthy, game over. Denver Nuggets are NBA champions. Nikola Jokic is a dog. So let me explain what basically happened this offseason. So Monte Morris, Will Barton were traded to Washington in exchange for Contavious Codwell Pope. And I believe, was that just it? And Ish Smith and some picks. They were able to keep Jeff Green and Vlatko Kanchar and Devon Reed. Extended Nikola Jokic and Codwell. And they have Jamal Murray. Returned from torn ACL, Michael Porter Jr. returning from back surgery. They signed Bruce Brown to a two-year deal. They signed DeAndre Jordan to be a backup center, but more really Zeke Nanji is the backup center, and they're relying more on you know Zeke than DeAndre. DeAndre's sorry, girlfriend was taking the LSATs, or she's about to take the LSATs, so she's giving me a little phone call, FaceTime, so I had to encourage my girlfriend that she was gonna kick the LSATs. If you guys don't know, that's like the law school entrance exams. So and I got I have a job offer in a few states and mainly my favorite ones in Florida. So hopefully she gets a good grade. She'll get it and be able to get into the law school that's near the job offer. So we can commute well. But either way, so the players they added, Bruce Brown, DeAndre Jordan, Contavious Caldwell Pope, fuck Christian Brown, but he was an okay pick. Dude Everyone trashes Christian Brown. They're like, this guy was media trained, but he's the biggest douchebag. This is what Christian Brown told my source who I was at. I work K football games. Like I have, I have media passes right here. Let me, oh, like I'm a media member for football games and stuff. So I was, at, I was talking and there was Marcus Garrett was there. Christian Brown was there. Remy Martin. There was a bunch of guys at the football game. And I was talking, I'm not going to tell you who my source was, but someone who knows Christian Brown pretty well and somebody that I'm mutually friends with. And guess what Christian Brown said? They said, yeah, they, my, my source said he asked Christian Brown, how's Denver? And he goes, uh, Denver kind of sucks because my apartment in Denver, uh, it's okay because they're, you know, Denver has a terrible nightlife. It's, it's boring. And my source and I were laughing. I was like, you know what? I think the nightlife isn't what you should be worrying about going into your rookie year on a title contending team. Don't get me wrong. Everyone should enjoy and have a good time. But bro, every my, first off, my girlfriend's from Denver and she got so mad when I told her that because she was like, the nightlife in Denver is good. Okay. Besides that, Payne Watson, they drafted. Colin Glepsig broke his leg, but he's on a two-way. Jack White's on a two-way. Adonis Arms on a two-way. I don't know how they have three guys on a two-way, but... Maybe they got a, I believe Adonis Arms, I believe is on, is he actually, I thought Adonis Arms was on our, the, yeah, I guess he is. Okay. So with that being said, let's continue through this, but yeah, so Adonis Arms, Kellen Grady, Justin Tillman, and Tim Conley left and they replaced him with our man Calvin Booth. Now, look, the Nuggets were so good at retooling their roster around Nikola Yoke is the two-time league MVP. KCP, Contavious, Kyle Pope, a 38% three-point shooter over his last five seasons. Is it one of the best 3 and D role players there is? Well worth the cost of Morris, whose starting days at the point position in Denver were behind him now that Jamal Murray was returning. Barton had fallen out of favor you know, he's just a scoring guy. Contavious, not as much as a scorer. Scorer as Case uh, uh, Contavious Cowboy Pope isn't the scorer that Will Barton is, but he can score just as much by shooting threes, and he's a way better defender. Bruce Brown brings exquisite off-ball production on both sides of the ball as a slasher on offense, and as a defensive player, you can guard every single fucking position at six foot three. And there's a reason Ish Smith sticks around, okay? Year after year, he's one of the best solid point guards. Basically, they're going to try Bones Highland, and if Bones Highland feels overwhelmed, I believe they're going to run with Ish Smith. And then Brown could earn some rotational minutes early, but I really think Brown's just going to fail. Like, dude, me and my sources, we were talking about Brown, and I was laying out all my concerns about Brown, like just what I've heard from people, from what I've, you know, seen on tape, from what I've seen in person. 
and I, I don't want to ever wish anybody ill will. First off, I don't know if you guys know this, Christian Brown's rich as fuck, like parents are. So like he doesn't need the money. This is all for fun for him. It's just like, dude, a lot of people at the KU football game, people, my sources, you know, close to the organization of Kansas basketball were taking big old shits on Brown, especially calling him low IQ. That was one of the big things I took from him. They kind of said he was dumber than rocks. Like said, he's not the brightest tool in the shed. And yeah, maybe. It was funny. So it's clear the Nuggets are going to spend so much time, you know, with Jokic, Murray, and Porter. So I think, of course, this season could go to shit if Murray and Porter don't return the form, but I fully expect them to.